next question I always ask and answer for patients is, you know, who, who cares what my exact diagnosis is? What's the big deal if I have academic strict name for what I have? Well, I'm being, you know, sarcastic because there's really very important reasons why we have to get the right reason why you're not ovulating properly. First and foremost is I have to pick the right treatment path, right? There are other reasons why women skip ovulations. Could include thyroid dysfunction, a hormone called prolactin can be too high. You could have something called hypothalamic amenorrhea or other hormonal imbalances. And if you have them, each one of those has its own treatment path. So I trick your body into ovulating one way with PCOS, but in the other conditions, I would have to do other things. So in order to pick the correct treatment, we have to go down the right pathway and need the right diagnosis, obvious. The second reason why it's very important to make the strict diagnosis is that along with PCOS, there are some increased chances of having other medical issues. I don't want to alarm you. It doesn't mean you're going to get them. It just means that your chances of having them as you get older are a little bit higher. And what are those? Well, they include increased chance of having high cholesterol, high blood pressure, even a predisposition towards prediabetes and diabetes, as well as acne, extra hair on your face, trouble ovulating, and even the lining of your uterus can become too thick and have precancerous cells. Now, it doesn't mean you're gonna have any of these. It just means that if we make the diagnosis to be good, thorough doctors taking good care of you, we have to make sure you don't have any of these and then give you yearly screening to make sure that you're not developing these as you get older. So that's really the reason why it's very important for us to make sure we get the right diagnosis.